disclaimer. Do not make this trade. Seriously, don't. This video is for educational purposes only and placed by a professional trader from Maverick Trading. Maverick Trading is sponsoring this trading experiment with a $100,000 trading account. To trade for Maverick Trading, you can submit an application for stock, option trader or currency trader from the link in the video description below. Hello there Flatters Trading Society members, this is Rob and we are on to trade number 15. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've been traveling over in the UK and Europe and sadly, my time is over. So we're going to finish up with our travel trading series, but let's jump into exactly what it is we're doing in case this is the first time you're joining us. We're saying that the exit is way more important than the entry in trading. And to prove it, we're going to choose stocks or currencies or whatever we trade with random methods, just basically picking stuff out of a hat. And then we're going to apply strict position sizing and position management rules selling our losers, holding our winners, and we're going to see can we make a profit only on the exit alone, making the entry completely random. And as I said, my trip is over. So when we started the trip, flatter trading, we were short pound dollar. And then when I went over to Europe, we actually did a trade on Euro pound. And now I'm coming back to the States. Let's go ahead and get all the way back to US dollars where we started. So we're going to be taking a look at the Euro US dollar cross. Here we are looking at the Euro US dollar daily chart. You can see we hit a high all the way up here of 112.50 and we backed all the way down to 106.50. You can see we've been having a little bounce. So let's check in on this trade. And I actually looked at this earlier and take a look at this moving average. This moving average couldn't be more flat than it is right now. I'm just gonna zoom in here. Look how flat this moving average is. Remember, our rule said, if the moving average trend is higher, we go long. If it's lower, we go short. And if it's flat, we go look for something else. So sadly, we are not going to be able to do Euro US dollar here on this trade. Another thing I did want to discuss, because I think this is a really fun thing to talk about, is that today is the FOMC meeting. This is a big meeting and it's going to happen in just a couple hours here. And a lot of people say, hey, you know what? I like to sit out the news, which is fine. It's fine for you to sit out news, but it's also fine for you to play the news as long as you do it consistently the same every single time. So we are going to make a trade right ahead of a Fed meeting, a couple hours ahead saying we don't care because over a thousand trades, it won't matter. It won't matter at all unless there is one thing that will matter. If you are trading with very tight stops, we typically get very large bits of, you know, a couple minutes of volatility. And if you have stops anywhere near the market price, you are highly likely to get triggered, not because you are wrong on the trade, just because there was a volatility surge around that point. So if you are trading with tight stops, then you absolutely should not be trading before news announcements. If you have very wide, very liberal stops, like we do here at Flat Earth Trading Society, if you do it the same way, over a thousand trades, before a thousand Fed meetings, some of them are gonna be good, some of them are gonna be bad, it's all going to wash out in the end. So sadly, we can't do the Euro dollar trade, so let's bring out the box of currencies again and look to trade something else against the US dollar. So here is my magical box of currency. Now look, it's not a magical box, but I love to travel. So I like to keep a lot of the currencies that I go to the trader, to the countries I go to. And uh, we got a lot of bills, we got a lot of coins. This is my favorite, Zimbabwe dollar, $500 million. I actually have a $1 trillion note up on my wall. I know it's a pretty sick brag, it's not worth anything. So I'm just gonna go through these and we're just gonna pick one at random. And there we go. What is this? Oh, look at that. It is the Australian dollar. So we're going to be making a trade on the Aussie dollar against the US dollar in this one. Let's pull up a chart on Aussie dollar to see if we can trade it. All right. So Aussie dollar, this is a daily chart. And we can see that it has taken a big fall. We can see that it's been pretty flat lately, but... If we take a look at where we are right here, right now, 
two days ago, we would have said the same thing. Hey, this moving average is too flat. We are now starting to see a good turn to the upside. So we're going to be looking to be long this currency cross here. So current price is right at 65 cents. We are long because of the sloping 13 EMA and our ATR is at 56 pips, 0 0.0056. So let's build this trade ticket out. It is September 20th, 2023. This symbol is long Aussie dollar. The entry is at 65 cents. And let's go and put in our first trade exit rule. We are going to have a stop at 2x ATR. The ATR was 0 0.0056. So double that, it's 0 0.0102. That's going to give us initial stop of 63.98. The only thing we have left to do is find our position sizing. Here we are at baby pips. Now we're going to stick with our currency dollar account balance. Let's go check that real quick. Here's our account. We go to our account window. Current account value is $100,982. So let's go ahead and put that in. 100,982. Risk percentage, we are risking 1%. And the stop loss was how many pips? 102 pips. And the currency pair is Aussie dollar. So let's find where that Aussie dollar is. Aussie dollar and we hit calculate. Here we have it. Our position size in these units is going to be 99,002. Let's round that up. So 99,002 is going to be our position size. So we've built out our trade sheet. Let's go and make the trade and put in the trailing stop. Go ahead and put in Aussie dollar. We are going to be looking to be long and our position size was 99. 002. That's our position size on this one. Uh, I am going to use a limit order here because I want to just attach this as we go. So I'll just put my order up above the market to make sure we get filled. I'm going to hit this advanced button. Now I'm going to attach my stop right here. We are going to be using a trail. And remember, our trail amount was 0 0.0102. 0 0.0102 was our trailing stop amount. So make sure that is good tail canceled. Let's go ahead and hit the submit button. And here we have our order built. And that trade has been made. So our actual fill price was 6497.4. So let's go ahead and adjust everything and wrap this trade up. So our final entry was 64.97. We've got our initial stop in at 2x ATR and that's gonna be a trailing stop. Remember our rules, when we hit our 2x target at 67 to one, we're going to change that trailing stop to a 1.5x trailing stop, tightening it up a bit. If we get to that 4x target, we're going to move it to 1x ATR and tighten it up a little bit. And what do we do after that? We do nothing. We sit and smile and watch. You can watch if you want. Don't watch if you don't want. It doesn't matter. This is all going to happen automatically. That's trade 15. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.